you said like we can solve climate crisis before 2050 but like the real question is will we solve the climate crisis before 2050 yes yeah the, the i think that the breakdown happened around 1980 um because right now we look at climate as science mm -hmm. and science is designed to predict the future you know if i if i throw a ball mm -hmm. um science will predict where the ball will land yes <laughs> and based uh, on the mathematics and calculations and modeling yes right but then you know if a bird flies and and picks the ball out of the air the scientist gets very angry it's like because... i didn't calculate that variable into that yes right that's yeah. not fair yeah now um you know uh, in 1961 when kennedy said we're going to land a man on the moon it was not predictable, but Kennedy said, we're going to do it. Uh, and th tens of thousands of men and women lined up to make it happen and made it happen early. And uh, the, di the difference was it was created as an engineering project. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, and, and as opposed to a science project. Uh, because of the politics of oh, the or 80s. Or maybe geopolitics or maybe geopolitical decision to go land on the moon first. Yes. Yeah. But the, but it was managed as an engineering project, like mm -hmm. building a big house or something. Yeah. Building the the Great Wall of China was not a science project; no. it was an engineering project, yeah. civil engineering. And uh, we've been treating a bit for political reasons. In the eighties, it got very politicized, and so the liberals said, "Okay, we're going to follow the science." Because yeah. you know, rather than uh, you know, the Reagan said, "We're going to go free market," and there's something to be said for both. Uh, but science doesn't allow for innovation. Like right? yeah. science is based on the past. Anyway, so the whole the whole thrust now is shifting it to engineering that nature has shown us it can be done. Now we just have to engineer it. And that's a matter of intention and finance.